The National Broadcasting Company brings you Brian Donlevy as Steve Mitchell in... Dangerous Assignment. The time, sunset. The place, a small fishing village on the coast of Portugal. Two fishermen trudge wearily homeward past a deserted monastery near the waterfront. A sudden sound breaks the stillness of the evening air. Sanchez, listen. Huh? The monastery bell is ringing. Oh, but that is impossible, Naranya. No one has lived in that monastery for five years. And now it's quiet. Come, Sanchez, we better go see. Oh, Naranya, here is some food and blankets. Someone has been living here. Oh, Sanchez. Look! A man hanging from the bell rope. Quick, let us cut him down. It's too late, Naranya. He's dead. You've seen him in such pictures as Wake Island, Stand By for Action, and Command Decision. Now, here is our star, Brian Donlevy, in another two-fisted portrayal as Steve Mitchell in Dangerous Assignment. Hi, Commissioner. You know, you pull me away from more big deals. I want to talk to you about Alan Prescott, Steve. Oh, is he back? That's good. No, he's not back. Steve, Alan Prescott is dead. Let me have that again. I'm sorry, Steve. I know he was one of your best friends. Alan dead? How did it happen, Commissioner? He was found hanging from a bell rope in a deserted monastery. Where? Portuguese fishing village. Mazimbra is the name of it. What was he doing there? Alan had been assigned to investigate rumors about a wholesale racket to smuggle aliens into the United States. Oh, well, looks like he got too warm. Yeah. Steve, I figured you'd want this assignment. I do. Have we any contacts over there? One, and for a change, it's a man we know we can trust. He's helped us before in the past, and he was working with Alan on this illegal entry investigation. What's his name? Perez. He runs a pet shop in Mazimbra. That'll be your first stop in Portugal. Okay. As usual, you'll pose as a foreign correspondent. Steve, I want you to go over there and find the men who killed Alan and get enough information so we can smash their racket. You've got your assignment. Good luck. Flight 9, now departing for Bermuda, the Azores, and Lisbon, Portugal. All aboard, please. Senor Perez pet shop, and his light is still on. Yeah. Okay, driver. There you are. Oh, gracias. You uh, want me to wait for you, senor? No, thanks. Ah! Hey. Senor Perez has many birds in his shop, senor. <laughs> so I hear. Good night, senor. Good night. <laughs> Boy, what a menagerie. Anybody home? Perez? Perez? <laughs> okay, Polly, you call him too. Hey, Perez? 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 Stop! You're choking me! Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, what's the matter, Polly? You got a persecution complex? Well, maybe Perez is in the back room here. Perez? Perez? You're choking me! Oh, oh shut up. Oh, it's dark in here. I wonder where he is. Come in and close the door. What? I have a gun. <laughs> Do as I say. Okay. Look, Perez, I want to talk to you. I'm a friend of Alan Prescott's. I will turn on the lights. That's better. I, uh, 
Perez, what's the matter? You're bleeding. There has been a fight. Here, here, here. I... Come on over here and sit down. Let me help you. Thank you. I will be all right. What happened? Two men came into my shop with knives, tried to kill me. I got my gun and drove them off. When I heard you come in a minute ago, I thought they had come back. Yeah, I guess that's what your parrot thought, too. You say you are a friend of Alan Prescott? Yeah. You were sent to take over the case he was working on. That's right. The alien smuggling ring. I was working on it with Senor Prescott. How much had he found out? Why, so far, very little, Senor. However, I expect to come into possession of some valuable information tomorrow. Okay, I'll check with you then. Now, you better get a doctor to look after those cuts, Perez. I'm going to the police station. The sergeant are the desk that you wish to see me, senor? Yeah. You in charge of the police here? At the moment, I am Lieutenant Vieira, senor... Uh... Steve Mitchell. I'm a foreign correspondent. I just flew in from the States today Jim, and... you landed at Lisbon, took the train to Mazimbra by taxi cab to the patch up of Senor Perez. What? Remained there 30 minutes, then walked here to the police station. Huh. I didn't know my activities were a matter of such interest to you. I have been sent here from Lisbon to investigate certain matters, Senor. So at the moment, I am interested in everyone who comes to Mazimbra. Yeah? Well, a friend of mine came here a couple of days ago. And he got killed in a deserted monastery. Uh, you are perhaps referring to Alan Prescott, uh, another so-called foreign correspondent? What do you mean, so-called? There are indications that he was investigating the existence of an organization to smuggle Europeans into the United States. You're right, Lieutenant Vieira. And I've been assigned to take over the investigation. I see. You have proof of this? Yeah. Here are my credentials. So... Senor Mitchell, there is something in the next room which may be of interest to you. Oh? After you, Senor. Hey, <laughs> this looks like the morgue. For the present, it must serve. Five bodies? See, si. they were found under one of the fishing wharves, their hands and feet securely tied. Mm. You figure that these men were some of the paying customers in this alien smuggling racket? It is possible. Yeah. Maybe things got a little too hot for the smugglers all of a sudden, so they dumped these guys in the water. Who discovered the bodies? We did. Our police launch patrols the entire bay every day at sunset. I see. Any identification on any of them? Their pockets were empty. But we were able to identify this man. How? Oh. From his fingerprints. Mm, got a criminal record, huh? See, si. His name is Luis Delgado from Villa Real to the north of here. He has been living there with his sister, Maria Delgado. Might be a good idea to pay Maria a visit. I was about to suggest it, Senor Mitchell. Let's go. How much farther to Villa Real, Lieutenant? About a few miles, Mitchell. <laughs> you sure believe in taking precautions, don't you? Senor? Having one of your boys, Taylors. Taylors? I uh, I do not understand, Mitchell. Well, that car behind us. It's been following us for the last ten minutes. I gave no orders to follow us, Mitchell. What? Then who... Hey! Hey, he's coming up at us. Can you Fast. see who it is? No, it's too dark. Yara, watch out. He's trying to run us off the road. Get down, Mitchell. Get down. Oh, hey, we're skinning. Hey, freeze yourself. Watch out. Ah. Oh, boy, that was close. Nice driving here, huh? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Well, somebody's sure anxious to put us out of the way. It's beginning to look like we're on the right trail. See, si. we will continue our trip to the Delgado house in Via Real. I regret to bring you this news of your brother's death, Senorita Delgado. You... You say he was drowned in the bay, Senor Lieutenant? How did he get there? Uh, that is a question, Senorita. You, you mean he was murdered? Senorita Delgado, if you do not mind, Senor Mitchell and I will ask the questions. Maria, uh, did you notice your brother talking to any strangers the last few days? Strangers? Hmm. He talked to no strangers. Well, when he left home, did he say where he was going? He, he told me nothing. Senorita... 
I think you are withholding information. No, it's not true. I tell you everything I, I know. I must remind you that your brother, Luis Delgada, had a criminal record. That was long ago when he was in trouble. My brother was a good man. Perhaps he intended to commit a crime when he left that here. That is a Perhaps lie. Perhaps that is why he would not lies, tell you where he was lies. going. He was not going to commit a crime. He was going to the United States to live with my uncle. I... I do not remember what he told me. I see. Have you anything more to tell us? Very well. Senor Mitchell? Yeah, let's go. Thanks, Maria. We will question you more if necessary, senorita. Night. Well, Maria sure clammed up all of a sudden. But not until she told us what we wanted to hear. She... You know, it's a cinch that some of the arrangements on these deals are made in the United States... I wish we knew the name of that uncle Maria spilled about. It is Emilio Delgada. What? As you were talking to the senorita, I noticed on the table an envelope addressed to her dead brother. In the upper left-hand corner was the name Emilio Delgada. Was there an address? I, uh, I do not know if it was an address or not. Uh, uh, Mitchell, in the United States, is there a place called Bronx? Bronx? <laughs> yeah. That's an address, all right. Well, good work, Lieutenant. Let's go to the nearest telegraph office. Here's a report from Steve, Commissioner. Thanks, Ruth. Definitely on trail of illegal entry record. Go on. You must be working fast, Commissioner. Apparently, last cargo of paying passengers too hot to handle. All five drowned. Nice organization. Yeah. One identified as uncle in the United States who apparently was helping make arrangements. Find and question Emilio Delgado, the Bronx. Take on that name, Lou. Emilio Delgado. Uh, Delgado. Oh, uh, Delgado, right. I'm working with police lieutenant named Vieira. Just for the record, please check on him for me. You got that, Ruth? Vieira. Yeah. Here's some more. Perez at pet shop, very cooperative. I'm counting heavily on him to furnish hot lead. I'm on way back to Mazimbra now to talk to Perez again. We'll keep you informed. <laughs> Come in. Ah, Senor Mitchell. Lieutenant Vera, I, uh, I'm worried. Jim? I've been counting on Perez at the pet shop to give me some hot information he hinted at yesterday. Perez? Hmm. As soon as we got back from Villarreal last night, I went to his parrot palace and he wasn't there. I've been there on an awful day today and he still hasn't shown up. Jim, he has shown up, Senor Mitchell. Oh, has he? Well, that's good. No, no, it is not good. What do you mean? This afternoon... A fisherman saw something floating in the bay. A man, face down. It was Perez. In just a moment, our star Brian Don Levy returns as Steve Mitchell in Dangerous Assignment. Here's a message for the technically minded young men of America. The armed forces of the United States want volunteers. Volunteers for the greatest scientific enterprise in history. Volunteers for the world's greatest educational program. The new scientific armed forces offer training in dozens of technical specialties. Radar, radio, diesel, jet propulsion, aviation, and many, many others. So if you're thinking of an active career, a vital career, think of the United States Armed Forces. <laughs> The National Broadcasting Company brings you Act Two of Dangerous Assignment, starring Brian Donlevy in the role of Steve Mitchell. The time, four hours later. The place, the Commissioner's office in the United States. I finally got hold of Steve, Commissioner. He's on the line. Thanks, Ruth. Steve? Hello, Commissioner. We located Emilio Delgado in the Bronx. 
first he wouldn't talk, but when we told him his nephew had been murdered trying to get out of Portugal, he opened up. Oh, did he put the finger on the stateside branch of the racket? It's a small travel bureau in New York. Delgado gave them $3,000. They promised to smuggle his nephew into the United States. I see. Incidentally, I checked on Lieutenant Vieira. His record is excellent. Good. I figured it was, but I didn't want to take any chances. Now, Steve, we close in on the travel bureau in New York. The gang in Portugal will slip away from us. Oh, don't close in on the travel bureau yet, Commissioner. I tell you, send one of your agents there to arrange transportation for a relative over here in Portugal. A relative? What do you mean? Me? What? I'm going to use the name Nick Grado. G-R-A-D-O, Grado, for the record. I'm going to pass as a minor mobster deported last year. But Steve, think of the danger. I'm thinking of Alan Prescott dangling at the end of that bell rope. Now, look, I'm going to Lisbon and register at the Lagos Hotel under the name of Nick Grado. So long, Commissioner. Now, Steve! Well, I hope he knows what he's doing. Now, Ruth. Yes, Commissioner. Which of our agents looks the most like a gangster? Summers. He looks pretty rugged. Okay. We'll send him to that travel bureau in New York. Summers will pose as the brother of Nick Grado in Portugal. He'll offer the travel bureau $3,000 to smuggle Grado into this country. Draw the money out of a special account. And... Uh, you in charge of this travel bureau? Well, I want to arrange some transportation. Oh, for yourself? No, my brother in Portugal. Well, that's simple. We represent several steamship companies and... Uh, uh, you don't understand. My brother was in the rackets over here and got deported to Portugal last year. Oh. Well, that kind of transportation is very difficult to arrange and uh, expensive. Uh, here's 3,000 cash. Says you can arrange it. May take a long time. He can wait. Okay. What's your brother's name? Nick Grado. He's staying at the Lagos Hotel in Lisbon. Okay. Forget you were ever here. We'll make all the arrangements. Your brother will be contacted at the Lagos Hotel in Lisbon. Yeah? Your name is Nick Grado. Who are you? Bogota. You want to take a trip, Grado? Trip? Your brother in America arranged it. Oh, okay. Well, I'm all packed up. Do not carry any identification. You have your money and valuables? Yeah, right here on me, Bogota. Good. The car is outside. Where are we going? To the cliffs, overlooking the sea, near Mazimbra. Cliffs? See, si. there's a cave at the waterline. You will wait for the boat there. Okay, let's go. Hey, look, Bogota. Climbing down the side of a cliff in the dark is not my idea of fun. How about a light? No, we are almost there. To your right, a little. Okay. There. You see the entrance now? Yeah. Pretty well hidden, isn't it? You see. Hey, there's enough room inside the entrance to dock a boat. See. Follow the ledge you are on. Into the cave. Okay. Quite a place. It serves our purpose. Wait a minute. There's a light up ahead. See, the other passengers. Oh. How many are there on this trip? Two others. <laughs> Business falling off. It is good enough, Grano. Who is there? Here we are. Who is it? Bogota, old man. Are you one of the passengers? Sim, I am Pimentel. Uh, Nick Grado is my name. Where is the other one? The girl. Girl? Here. Here I am. Oh, I... Uh, um... Senor Grado, did you say? Uh, yeah, senorita. Maria is enough. All of you stay here. I'm going to hide the car. Bogota, how much longer must we wait here? It's not for you to ask questions, old man. Well, Senor Steve Mitchell? Maria Delgada, the grief-stricken sister. So you are supposed to be Nick Grado. What are you doing here, Senor Mitchell? I was just going to ask you the same thing, Maria. When you and Lieutenant Vieira told me about my brother's murder, I... 
I knew I could not rest until I found out who killed him. Oh. Bogota doesn't know who you are? No. And he will not, unless you tell him. Look, you keep your sh- mouth shut about me, and I'll do likewise. See, si. it is a promise, senor. Quiet. Here comes the old man. Wait, wait. All we do is wait. Bogota say how long we stay here? Until the boss comes with the boat, he said, but he would not tell me when that would be. Did he say who the boss was? No. Pimentel, you do not look so good. Why you don't try to rest? Oh, thank you for your kindness, senorita. I'm sick and an old man, but everything will be all right when I get to America. Everything. Means a lot to you, huh? It is what I'm living for, senor. Mm. Say, how far back does this cave go, anyway? Bogota told us to stay on this ledge and not to go back any farther. He said that narrow channel below winds back and ends against a solid wall of rock. The front entrance, the only one, huh? That is what he said. Well, looks like nothing's due to happen tonight. I think we all better get a little sleep. Senor. Senor, wake up. Eh? Oh, Bogota. It's past noon. Wake up. You, old man. Wake up. Bogota. Oh. What is the meaning of this? Take all the money and valuables out of your pockets. Pile them on the rock here. Hey, what is this? What are you doing with that gun? What I say? All of you. And as for you, Senor Mitchell. Mitchell? See, we know who you are. Well, thanks for tipping them off, Maria. No, I did not tell them, Stephen. I swear it. The boss wishes to talk to you, Mitchell. The boss? When did he arrive? I came in my boat while you were asleep, Mitchell. What? Perez? Hey, what is this? The police told me you were dead. The real Perez is dead, Mitchell. Real Perez? Wait a minute. You mean when I talked to you in Perez's pet shop... I had just killed Perez before you came in. You assumed I was Perez. I played along with you. After you left, I threw his body in the bay. Great. So you're the boy who's running this racket. A profitable one, I assure you. Yeah, and a vicious one. You get the passengers out here. You take their money and kill them. Instead of a ticket to the United States, they get a ticket to the morgue. What? You, you mean we will not be taken to America? <laughs> what do you think, old man? Come, Bogota. We will go back to the entrance. What happens now? For the present, you will all wait here. And, Senor Mitchell, I would not advise you to an attempt on escape. There is only one entrance to this cave, and Bogota and I will be guarding that entrance with guns. <laughs> They are going to kill us. Why don't they do it now? Look at them, sitting at the entrance to the cave like two vultures. What are they waiting for? That's what I've been trying to figure out. It's almost 6 p.m. I will never see America. It was just a dream. It's all over for me. Bogota, you fool. Do not light your cigarette. You're in the entrance. The launch will see you. The launch? Hey, that's what they're waiting for. What? Lieutenant Vieira said the police launch patrols the coast every day at sunset. Police launch? Yeah. Perez is probably waiting until after the launch goes by so that our bodies won't be discovered until tomorrow. I could only figure out a way to attract the launch's attention. But what good would that do? Steve Bogota and Paris would shoot us. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Perez says there was no back entrance to this cave, didn't he? See? He was lying. How you know? Look at the smoke from my cigarette. What a body. See what happens to it? Why, it just goes straight up in the air, Steve. Yeah, 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 for a way. But then it starts drifting towards the front entrance. That means there's a draft up there. The draft could be caused by a back entrance. Steve, but how can we find it? Well, uh, li- listen. Yeah, a boat. Probably the police launch. Whatever we do, we got to do in a hurry. As soon as the launch goes by, we're dead pigeons. No, senor. What? I, old Pimentel, will help you. And God willing, I will save you. What are you talking about? I will go to the front entrance and call for help. Are you crazy? Perez would kill you. Sin. But the noise and flashes of the gun might summon police. Now, look. Senor, what happens to me is not important. I'm old, sick. With this way, perhaps I can prevent Perez from taking the dreams of others and ruining them as he did mine. Now, wait a minute. No, senor. This is the best way. Come and tell. Come back. Come and tell. What are you doing? Get back. Police! Over the gate! Police! Steve, don't go. It is too late to help him now. Bogota! You fool! They heard in the police launch. They are coming. A 
Take the boat out and lead them away. I'll take care of Mitchell and the girl. I'll meet you at the rear entrance. Rear entrance? So there is one. Come on, Maria. This is our chance. Hey, wait, the ledge ends here. Okay, Maria. Come on into this channel. Nicole! Stop! Nicole! He can't see us in the dark, Maria. He's just shooting blind. Keep going. Closer together, too. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, great. Solid rock. What? Yeah, this is the end of the line. We took a wrong turn back there somewhere. Mason, Paris is still after us. Yeah. Then we can't just sit here and wait for him to kill us. Maria, keep talking. What? Keep talking as if I were with you. Repeat what you've been saying. I'm going to backtrack and wait for him. All right. Steve? What can we do? We, we cannot go any farther. It is a blind alley. Paris is getting closer to me. You are right, senorita. Oh. Paris is getting closer. And there is nothing ahead of you but solid rock. Do you hear that? It is Paris. See? And the two of you are caught like rats in a trap. I have... It's... <coughs> Mitchell. Yeah. The gun's not going to do you any good underwater, Paris. I do not need the gun. No, there see. is strength enough in my arm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I can't. Oh, oh Martin, you can't help yeah. me. Help me. Steve? That's okay, Maria. Oh, I, I could not tell which one of you was which, Steve. Yeah, I was a little in doubt myself for a second or two. Come on, Maria, let's get out of this rat trap. Well, that's about it, Commissioner. Perez is dead and the police picked up his hired hand, Bogota. Good work, Steve. Where are you calling from? My hotel room. I'm up here drying out all alone. Stop! Sounds like you're all alone. Oh, that was just a parrot, Commissioner. Parrot? Yeah, from Perez's pet shop. He took a shine to me, I guess. Now, Steve, you can do better than that. No, no, it is a parrot, Commissioner. I'll prove it to you. Look, I taught him something to say to you. Oh? Go ahead, Polly. Polly? Drop dead! Drop dead! Steve! So long, Commissioner. You have just heard the sixth in an exciting new adventure series, Dangerous Assignment, starring Brian Don Levy as Steve Mitchell. Dangerous Assignment is written by Bob Reif and directed by Bill Karn, with music by Bruce Ashley. Be with us again next week at this same time, when Brian Don Levy, starring as Steve Mitchell, will embark on another Dangerous Assignment. <laughs> This program came to you from Hollywood. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.